Well, the United Kingdom is now on total lockdown with Prime Minister Boris Johnson telling folks to stay home and ordering shops to close. They've also banned gatherings of more than two people at a time. Well, Steve Sedgwick is on a very quiet street in central London. He's outside the New Scotland Yard and he joins us now live. Now, Steve, I guess that leaves you and Mike Green out of it, gatherings of two people. But when you look around this morning, does it feel like total paralysis? Um, let me be honest with you, yes and no. There um, is us, there's one other crew uh, here, and apart from that, it is pretty empty, London. I've got to say, on a daily basis, I think over the next couple of hours, Hadley, is when we'll really see how quiet it is. But yeah, Boris Johnson being forced to go even more draconian uh, on the rule setting after the British public decided to just get out over the weekend and get some fresh air, but unfortunately, that created quite large public gatherings. We'll go through some of the rules uh, and what's new in Great Britain from this week in a few moments, but let's first hear from the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. I know the damage that this disruption is doing and will do to people's lives, to their businesses and to their jobs. And that's why we produced a huge and unprecedented programme of support both for workers and for business. And I can assure you that we will keep these restrictions under constant review. We will look again in three weeks and relax them if the evidence shows we are able to. But at present, there are just no easy options. That's the Prime Minister. Uh, just underlining that at first this is going to be for three weeks. Now, I understand that fines uh, carried out by the magnificent Metropolitan Police and the other uh, police forces throughout the country uh, will be between £30, going up to £1,000. The Met Police will have the ability uh, to disperse gatherings uh, and basically get people off the streets as well. So a few more on those rules, uh, Hadley and Matt. Uh, shopping, you can go out for basic necessities, food and medicine, but as infrequently as possible, you cannot get out. Uh, uh, just to just potter around. Uh, one form of exercise a day alone um, or with people that you live with, you can get out for a medical need if you're a carer, if you're trying to help the vulnerable and if you have to, like uh, as you mentioned, camera mics and myself uh, and my producer George as well, uh, travel to and from work uh, only when it can absolutely not being done at home. You've got to basically keep your time outside to an absolute minimum. No weddings. No birthdays, uh, other ceremonies, uh, funerals ominously uh, are still allowed to take place. Uh, the businesses that are allowed to remain open, food outlets, pharmacies, petrol stations and garages, cycle shops, cycle shops, interesting one, uh, home and hardware, pet shops, that's good for my dog, uh, uh, banks as well. But what is shut? Gyms, libraries, playgrounds and places of worship as well. But as I say, uh, the police, uh, and again, this is the iconic New Scotland Yard, of course, famous from all kinds of things historically, not least uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, can give fines uh, and can disperse gatherings. But we've got to say the police are on a huge pressure as well. Uh, according to the Metropolitan Police Federation as well, they're getting a large amount of sickness themselves. Back to you both. Yeah, Steve, I wanted to follow up on that. Of course, you mentioned that police will enforce this lockdown uh, with fines, but with the workforce there stretched, any sense uh, in how authorities are actually going to be able to police this appropriately or accurately? Look, I hope most people are going to be sensible. Of course, all Brits do, because this is all about cutting the coronavirus off at the knees and stopping the huge transmission rates that can happen, even if just one or two people are mingling. And then it just goes forward on an arc from there as well. So there are big hopes that this can be a short, sharp shock. And of course, we've heard on the other side of the Atlantic, President Trump trying to actually loosen some of the restrictions there as well in order to aid the economy. I, a, a guy came up to me yesterday on Regent Street, who is a property developer and landlord, and saying that none of my tenants are going to pay me this month. They've all rung up and said they can't pay, won't pay as well. So you can see the kind of economic damage stroke pandemic measures, the, this very, very delicate equation that we're all trying to get to grips with as well. Uh, but I think the police will be able to enforce it, despite, of course, police cuts uh, over previous years and concern about public services as well. Uh, they are a magnificent bunch of men and women, I can say, and I, I think they'll probably do a brilliant job.